last time on the Beer and Pretzel Podcast. A-R-A-N stands for the Artificial Attachment Node. And what does that mean? I don't understand it. I'm not a scientist. All I know is that I was tasked with protecting this. Well, we aren't going to harm it as long as you bring us to whoever will have more information on this. I'm going to harm it. (laughs) You got to keep that under wraps. The Beer and Pretzel Podcast and Trash Talk Podcast are part of the Butt Wide, though, and Podfix Networks. Check them out to hear more content from other great podcasters. Please, small person, I tell you not to harm this. These electrical cords will harm you. Travis it won't tall. harm me. Did, did you just call Trevi B small? <laughs> it's fair. I'm about to open up a can of whoop ash on you. Trevi, Trevi B is being played by a small person. Don't harm these cables as they No, no, shocked. no, you. I'm about to open up a can of whoop ash on you. You called the boss small. Open up a can of whoop ass? <laughs> I don't understand. This is Stone Cold Steve Austin, isn't it? <laughs> fight, 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 fight. I do not wish to harm you. I just oh, wish for you to guy. leave. I do the thing that 15 year olds do. And what is that? When you roll your eyes back <laughs> as far as you can. And you like throw your whole body back and you go, ugh. <laughs> a lot of that today. (laughs) One drink. We're not going to give you any grief as long as you show us who can give us more information. Like that, if we're not harming you, that's not against your code. I don't know where my master went, but I guess that you could talk to whoever was in charge of this area's generator. If you want to power this device in a different way, deep underground in a tunnel, there is the main generator that powers that. He points out towards the field where that large cylinder is that the adults are gathered around. If you want, if you can talk to, I know my master was talking to a man who ran a generator underground. If you can talk to him, he might be able to lead you or point you where to go where you guys can interact with a generator that powers this. In my code, I don't want you guys to destroy this, partially because I was told not to, but also that I know it will hurt you. But if you want to find the on-off switch or a way to reprogram it, underground, you should be able to find it. How do we get underground? That I don't know, but those people, he points out towards the loop, the three towers. I know my boss was talking to one of them that ran one of the tunnels around here. Uh, It's a secret tunnel. He ran this area, and he was in charge of making sure everything was up and running. And with me and her, we we hot-wired it to her device. Or you could try to smash this, but I advise you not to, and I'm programmed to stop you. Are you programmed not to join our team? I am not not programmed to join your team. One but, of us. Yeah. One of us. Join Punk rock for king, life. <laughs> Punk rock. I fear if I go into your city that people will destroy me. Nope. As nope. I'm a You're older, punk rock. No, you're Faulty punk rock, model. man. You're punk rock. You're Just good. keep your cool hood on. You'll blend in with us. All right. Someone can roll. One person can roll charm. I have and, seven or four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And uh, you, if you guys succeed, you will be able to charm him. And he will, at least for this adventure, join you guys and try to help you out as much That'd as you can. Awesome. Does someone have better than me? No. no. You're so charming. One success for charming. I will, to make sure that you guys do not smash these cables, I will follow you. 
to make sure Heck you guys yeah. don't do any damage to this. We got our robot buddy. Robot buddy. He tips his large brim hat down, kind of like a cowboy, That's like a badass. Awesome. We also to obscure his face. Yeah, he looks like a badass. <laughs> You guys go back into the field and you see there's a little bit more adults now and you see some like a couple members have like no pants on and they're just like peeing and shit in the field um and there's a couple like all the adults now are kind of talking like caveman sort of with a very uh, primitive speech and there's a couple adults still with their clothes on slowly dry humping each other Ew. Including Hobo Jim no. and no. Travis's no. mom. No! No! <laughs> no! Ma! No! Ma! Oh, fuck. I don't That's want a little disturbing. brother. <laughs> no, Jim, what the fuck? <laughs> no, not You're my never. weed dealer and my ma. I got, I'm smoking another cigarette. I'm stressed out. <laughs> I should probably go try to buy some weed off of him. What would you guys like to do now? I told you I'm smoking a cigarette and I'm getting out of here. I'm stressed. Um, I have. What about our robot friend? What's his name? Isaac. Isaac, yeah. You lead the way. Bring us to. Bring us to that place you're telling us about. Yeah, the tunnel. Yeah. I don't know where the tunnel is, but I know who does. Okay, bring, bring us, us to there. him. Or her. At this point, it's around six o'clock and the sun is starting to set. Uh, I have got some priorities. Krina has a date, or Austina does soonish. Listen, I don't want to have a little brother <laughs> whose dad is Hobo Jim. <laughs> I have got Ew. to figure this out. But he would be the perfect weed connection. <laughs> He'd be like your step. Dad? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to prevent it. <laughs> Isaac leads you into the town and he brings you to a two story tall cottage by the lake. He says, My master came here to find someone that could help get enough power for her device. Okay, let's investigate. Uh, go into the front door. It is locked, and it looks like someone uh, put up some kind of electrical device on the lock that if someone was to try to break in, it would send some kind of alarm. I go to a window. Okay. Do I find the same device? Uh, you do not, but the windows are locked. I smash it. With what? I take my shirt off, wrap it around my hand, smash Damn, what, when do you become such a badass? I didn't. <laughs> just try. <laughs> I think that's a perfect roll for force. One. Just one. One. Uh, like you smash in. I'm going to give you the condition injured. Sure. But uh, you smash a hole in. So, guys, you guys see uh, Brad Gover wrap his hand in his t-shirt, smash his hand through the window, and Damn. out there's a hole in the wall. Nice. Awesome. Uh, that's punk rock. That, that is, is punk, punk rock. Punk. And there's a hole in the window, not the wall. I yeah, couldn't not. punch through a wall. That would hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Not the window. Or not the wall. The window is what I meant. So, I guess, does anyone want to crawl in first? Or does one person, or does everyone want to try to go in? Or what's the plan? I'm, like, freshly motivated and stressed out. I'm crawling in. I don't care. So, you crawl in. Uh, just you, or does anyone else? I'll go in. I'll follow. Okay. Isaac says, I will stay outside. Just know that... Stand guard, you're a good guy. And don't leave. I will not. You guys go in, you search the first floor. Doesn't appear to be anything. Go into the second floor. You hear a voice coming from one of the bedrooms. Going... Mom? Mama? Where are you? Where are you? You guys open the door and you see a man sitting in his own bed, bandage on one side of his face as his face is horribly burnt on one side of his face. A little mangled, a little bit gross. And uh, he is holding a teddy bear. 
What would you guys like to do? This he seemed shocked weird. to see you guys. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this, this well, took I mean, a turn. You, <laughs> burglars! Took a no, burglars. no, no, no. We're not burglars. Austino, you're the only female. Go, go pretend you're his mom. Oh, true. Ew, I don't no. want to be his mom. Go <laughs> be his mom. I'm 15, <laughs> and he's a man. Well, I go. He's also mentally deranged. It's, Have fun. Everything is okay. How are you doing? Sunny boy. I'm very scared. <laughs> Do you want to play with me? Uh, Maybe. <laughs> but we ha you have At least to, you're honest. <laughs> you have to give me information and then I will play it with you. I'll roll charm as he's a little scared that three random strangers just appeared at his house. Oh, wait, I have to take. We're all kids. He can't be that scared of us. He's like half an adult. I got two, success two successes. Okay, damn. And, uh,. With that extra success, you can translate it to some other kind of, like, maybe question or some other kind of success that you can dictate what you want it to be. But with the first success, he listens to you, and he's calmed down. He doesn't believe you guys are burglars anymore. And what would the second uh, success, what do you want it to be? Maybe it could um, be a question or... Yeah. What are you doing here? What should we... What should I ask him? should ask him about the tunnel. Yeah. Do you know anything about the tunnel? I am the service engineer responsible for this area, or I was, but I hurt myself. Brain don't work no good no more. Well, fuck. <laughs> well, you can, uh, You. I mean, it was your whole livelihood. You can bring us there, yeah? Uh, I can't leave. Why? Darla said that I shouldn't leave until I'm healed. But you are healed, see? And I just, like, gesture that he looks fine. Oh, I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't feel so good. I give him a ciggy. <laughs> I give him a ciggy. I don't want this. <laughs> I want to play. You're like a 50 year fine. old. Fine. Okay, let's play down the tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel is a fun place to play because you can pretend that you are a prairie dog digging tunnels in the desert. I like it. <laughs> I like it. All right. He's kind of listened to her, but he needs some someone else to affirm with him that this is something that's legit. Does one of you two want to add on to this bullshit lie oh, to yeah. try to convince him? What would you like to say? Like, I'm walking around behind her with my hands kind of like, you know, bent, like little little prairie dog paws, and just like popping, like every once in a while, just be like, look, look at how fun this is. Look, <laughs> look, oh, you can't see me. And then I'll like hide behind my paws. And it'll pop out again and be like, Woo, Paradog! In the tunnel! <laughs> Super fun! That does seem fun now that she puts it like that. Yeah, now that I'm doing the Prairie Dog thing. Okay. Uh, he will charm Becky oh, or fuck. something else that would make sense. <laughs> Probably charm. And remember to take out any conditions that you have. And you can roll. And with a success, that should be able to convince him that you guys are legit. Besides a smooth talker. Mm -mm. Do you want to accept the failure or do you want to push it? Mm. We're going to push it. And what condition are you going to check off and why? Exhausted. Because I've had a really <laughs> exhausting day. That's fair. No! I'm just exhausted. Okay. He just kind of... He doesn't even look at you. I just don't have the heart. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like a really, really sad it. prairie dog. I'm like, yeah... And you keep I'm having a like dog. smokers cough and go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just end up taking a cigarette out and lighting it. Like, <laughs> Darla says those aren't good for my health. No, Darla's right. <laughs> <laughs> but she's also wrong. You should get out of the house. Okay, uh, you can roll charm for that. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I love that approach. <laughs> you 
gotta just get out of the house. <laughs> you just gotta put yourself out there, man. <laughs> you have to be you. Yeah. <laughs> it was like on our show Trash Talk Podcast, there was a guy who said we needed to get out of the house more often to get girlfriends. What? Oh, yeah. I forget I what it was, that. the context. Trash, was do you remember so what the context funny. was? It was? We criticized one movie. I forget what it was. Godzilla, I think it was. What's that? <laughs> yeah, it was Go- well, uh, King of the Monsters. Yeah. Right? yeah, I think that's what it was. Did I get a successor now? So curious. Oh, uh, okay. No, he doesn't get out of the house. Sorry. Do you want to push it Damn. or no? You got to, Travis. We're, we're going to get nowhere with this. Fine. I push it. Okay. I'm going to have to look up this Trash Talk podcast. Like, it, review? You need to get it out was, of the uh, house. I still have it on my phone somewhere. It was a private message. And the best part <laughs> of it was is that he blocked me after. So it, <laughs> when you block someone, it doesn't show their name. So I don't know the guy's name. It shows like anonymous user and it shows his like disc, which was basically like, like get out of the house and get girlfriends, you idiots who just like Marvel movies. Godzilla is great. Something like that. <laughs> it was the best thing people ever wrote us. I guess. You sense. did. All right, cool. So what was yours? What did you say? Tim? Get out of the house, you motherfucker. <laughs> You're stupid. Basically, get out of the house. He goes, oh, I guess I can. Can someone dress me? Austin was anonymous user. Or no, uh, you're not Austin. You're Brad. Brad was anonymous user. Yeah, you are. And Brad is not dressing him. I dip out. <laughs> <laughs> I just get like a blanket and like tie it around him. Yes, toga, toga, yeah. toga. All right, you give him a shitty toga. He looks like a homeless man. Wait, was he, like, not dressed before? Uh, no, he was just, like, you know, he's going outside in the fall, it's October, and he's just wearing, like, shorts and, like, a t-shirt or something. Well, now that and a toga, he is solid. Yeah. He's fine. This you is guys Nevada. go outside, he unlocks the door, you guys go out. Isaac goes, do you wish for me to still follow you? Yes. Yeah. You're our C-3PO. It's true. I wish we wish you were R two D two, but you're our C three PO. Yeah. <laughs> we like I, you not that much because he follows the rules. Aww. Yeah, he's fussy. The guy in the toga says, "My name is Mike. What is your name?" That's C three PO, and I point at the robot. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "My name is Isaac." <laughs> so he Poor meant C three PO. Is that why? Did I say that? Mike goes, no, my did. name is Mike. What is your guys' names, friends? Travis. Oh, s- my name is Bambina. <laughs> I'm going to give my code name. Code name, Bambina. You have two code names now? No, no. Austina is her new name. One's a code name. I don't go by my old name. What is your name, friend? Ah, oh, Bricky. Ricky, do you want to play? Fuck, am I the only one that can play? <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Travis isn't smart. That's official. <laughs> Travis isn't smart. Do you want to play on the way there? Uh, what what game do you want to play? Card Tag. Game? No. no. Follow the leader. We have to. Who's the leader? You're going to lead us to the tunnel. <laughs> There's also Simon Says. And also Simon says you lead us to the tunnel. <laughs> Simon says go to the fucking tunnel, Michael. <laughs> All right. He leads you guys to what looks like a manhole out in the middle of the field. And you guys are actually close enough to that the gathering of adults that you might see something different with them. I got to check my notes. I don't want to see. <laughs> Austino. I don't want to see. An ambulance and a group of journalists have been drawn to the site, and they join everyone else in the meadow. The adults have stopped using words. Some are walking on all fours, and people are starting to suffer from fluid loss and hunger. But they're still getting it on. Yeah. Okay. That too, yeah. Fuck you for bringing that up. (laughs) Hey, my dad's not part of this. I don't give a shit. No, but he totally is. They are wearing clothes, though. It's just like dry humping at this point so far. So well, far. you said half of them were His weren't. dad is totally dry humping someone. 
And he's definitely not wearing no, gloves. No, he's getting dry humped by someone else. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> by the principal. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not surprised. <laughs> so Michael leads you guys to a manhole. It has like one of those like turn-in things. Um, and he turns it. And uh, he puts in a code. He opens it. And he goes, the, down here is the tunnel. But it is dark and scary. And... I, got I push him in. Ah! <laughs> Owie! Well, it's not that far down. He survived. You guys go down, and it is a dark tunnel. It goes only one way. Uh, but yeah, Michael is injured. It looks like he sprained or broke his leg. Me and too, he's, man. He's unable to move, and he's crying Get up, in Michael. pain. Get up. I can't. I'm in pain. I say I'll break your other foot if you Isaac don't. Okay, piggyback. Piggyback. Isaac goes, do you want me to come down there? Yes. I don't know if I can climb ladders. Okay. You're about you... to find out. Come How down. heavy is... Can I watch? C-3PO. Can I stay guard? That, that sounded creep really creepy. <laughs> can I watch? C3... No, C-3PO, <laughs> stop. Stop saying it. <laughs> No, you you look, you saw us climb down the ladder. You can do it too. Like, how heavy is he as a robot? Uh, he's probably like two hundred pounds. Fuck, that's heavy. That's a you're kind of robot. you're kind of like a strong yeah, he's guy. He's human size, and I'm not that strong. But I'm, like, I'm a fifteen or well, fourteen no. year old. Why can't the robot come down and then he can help? He can do the shoulder thing with our dude Mike. That's what I was thinking. Is like, I was pushed out the What I was hole. thinking was if <laughs> but I'm seeing the robot. And, doesn't Brad. know how to climb ladders. Let's show him. He's about if to find out. Brad and I, I can the, bring him down. Just put one foot in, in front, front of the other. And soon you'll, you'll be, be walking, walking out, out the door. door. That was horribly synchronized. <laughs> one person can roll lead to uh, teach the robot how to climb ladders. I am going to play my guitar in the background. To the song that we sang, horribly. that we're singing. Okay, can you guys do that again? Because that was that was no. nice. You said it was horrible. No, I was joking. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad. It, it was, was pretty really good bad. until Travis joined. If it, the oh, synchrony no. went off, because <laughs> he was like a half second behind you guys. I was also laughing. <laughs> that was a second. It wasn't that bad. I'm joking. So, who wants to roll lead? I can have with my injuries a total of four. That's more than me. But if we, like, can we, like, do a group project? Um, yeah, I think there's something like that. If you're trained in lead, you can give that person a dice. I'm trained in lead, and I'm using my guitar, which is my iconic item. That, that would just be your own role. But if you want, you can help her out, and you can give her a dice. Him? It's all together for five. Her. Her. Oh, we're, we're helping Austina. Yeah, Austina. So I could have five in total, and you could have uh, four. But if I use my pride, which is everyone likes me, which means the robot likes me, so maybe he'll listen. And I can give you an additional dice. If you use because pride, I'm it's an automatic success. Oh, my guitar. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. He follows your lead, and he walks down the ladder, and he joins you. <laughs> he goes, stand up, and he lifts Michael, who's going, Ah! <laughs> And he just, like, forces him to walk on his sprained ankle. Sprained in, like, the fact that when Travis sprained my ankle and it turned out to be a broken <laughs> leg. It's a broken leg now, Travis. But you survived. Yeah, I did. And this guy will survive, too. Ish. Ish. Maybe. So, we haven't gotten there yet. You guys go down. Here are some things that happen when you guys go down the We're tunnels. Good. And I want to hear. Me. Sorry. I'm going to go down the list, and it's not anything like horrible, but just things I want to ask. I'm going to ask each one of you and how you help the group proceed. It might be small things or big things. Travis, you're in front of the group at this moment, and you see and hear what sounds like a bunch of rats run in front of you. How do you process this and go through it? It's. I have to light a torch. How do you do that? Make a makeshift torch with my tinker. Well, you're tinkering? Okay. So you probably use your shirt that you already used to smash open the 
glass as something to light up. But like, how do you actually light it up? I've got a, I've got a lighter. I've got, I smoke cigarettes. We smoke ciggies all the time. But you don't smoke. No, no, I smoke and drink. I don't smoke weed. I see. So you make a torch and uh, you scare off the rats. Uh, Austina, also known as Stacy Johnson. At one point, you had to pass a wire that has been torn from the wall and crackles with deadly electricity. I do a little acrobatics and zoom out of the way with my nimbleness. Sure, uh, you can roll move. I got one success. You dash by and you find a shortcut that allows everyone else to get by unharmed. Now going to Travis. At one point, you guys are walking now in the dark as uh, Brad's torch went out, and you hear strange sounds from below, and then you find a lifeless service robot that has been mutilated by something with huge jaws. Uh -oh. How do you process this, and how do you keep going? So no challenging to roll for anything, but how do you process this information, and how do you proceed as leader of the group? <laughs> I feel like I do the thing again. <laughs> what thing, Becky? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get a three, two, one, and then I want everyone to give their best sigh. Okay. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <sighs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So you guys all give out a big sigh, and you guys don't say a word to each other, and you guys keep going. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a weird way, fucking yeah. day. You find a concrete slab with a heavy hatch that opens with a code. Michael puts in the code, and he sits down to rest. A staircase leads down into a dark passageway that seems endless. Once you guys climb down, small blue LED lights light up the walls. In some places, there is an emergency telephone on the walls. Uh, it is humid, and a cold wind blows through the tunnels. And every now and then, as you guys keep walking, you guys keep hearing what sounds like footsteps and animals moving in the dark. Cobwebs smear your faces Ugh. if you didn't get to bat them out of the way. After another 20 minutes of walking, you guys come to a large service room with several entrances. The walls are covered by cables, screens, and control stations. The floor is a mesh of rusty metal, now in bad condition. Several meters below, the groundwater flows with a large roar. It smells bad. From the ceiling hangs a green cable that's hot wired to one of the stations. The cable leads up to the ARAN, and it connects to what looks like Michael describes as a Gravitron basically an energy device that's been powering this thing what would you guys like to do hey michael let's play a game called turn that the fuck off michael says you there's yin and yang watch out you guys notice from the shadows two robots click click Wee! yin is yin is a human like made out of white plastic a round head and black eyes. One of its hands has like a drill that's shaped instead of a hand. And Yang is a small square uh, robot with caterpillar treads that allows it to move about. So one is a very human-like and much more uh, advanced model of Isaac. Uh, definitely looks futuristic robot that's uh, white metal, or I guess white plastic apparently. And the other one is a black square robot with a series of red LED lights that uh, light up when it moves. And uh, Ying has a little electric shock mechanism that can come out of it. Both of them hear voices and they start moving around to investigate. This is what we call a showdown. So... Your guys' mission is, I assume you guys want to shut down the Gravitron to stop whatever is going on from happening. Yes. To do that, you guys need to beat the um, the showdown score, which is nine successes. To do that, you guys choose a skill you want to roll for. Describe how it makes sense. If you roll stealth, you stealth run the robots and you are trying to get close to Gravitron to pull it out. Or maybe you roll Tinker. 
pick whatever you would like to do, and you can roll for it. One by one, describe how you do it, and then roll. This is a tough roll that you guys need to get a success of three times the amount of kids. So in this case, nine successes. Fudge. If you guys fail, you can use up your conditions to gain extra successes to pass, but you pass at a cost. But let's start. Who would like to go first? I guess it is Travis leading the way. So Travis, what would you like to roll for? What is it? And how do you do so? You're Travis. I'm Travis. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Travis. That's me. That's me. I'm going to use move. I'm going to be fast. I'm going to be fast. And at this point, because this is the showdown, I would advise you guys, if you can find a way to use your uh, unique item to get two extra dice, I would use it now. Because you guys do have to get a lot of successes. Can I play my guitar really fast? <laughs> that doesn't um, make any sense. You could use it to try to smash it. It is a machine that you guys are trying to shut down to Whee! turn off the Gravitron. Yeah, the... Hmm. Maybe you don't want to smash this guitar up. Though, no, like it's the last one. I have a lot of conditions right now. I have three conditions right now. The unique item could use two <laughs> extra dice on top. Because I can't move with my guitar. I mean, I guess I could like run and swing it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's a fair thing you okay. can do. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that then. Sure. Moving, you're gonna try to smash the hell out of it. I got two successes. Mm -hmm. Two successes. Two successes. Do you want to push and you would take the sixes out and roll for more successes? Probably not, just because I'm already got a lot of conditions. Okay. Because we can, like, Remember, you guys are trying to get nine successes. But like, they count, right? Uh, those two count. But and you then guys... we can just get more. Yeah, Karina gets to go, and then Travis goes, and that's it. So that means those two got to get seven successes between them. Oh, you're them. saying each round you have to get a total of nine? You guys have one round to do this. Fuck. All okay. right, I'm going to push. Yeah. I'm injured, so, like, maybe I hit it really hard and I, like, threw my elbow out. Yeah, or probably wood from the guitar splinters Damn. and you hurt yourself. Okay, no successes. Nope, okay, so you got two successes. Stacey Johnson, what would you like to roll for? Charm is my highest roll, <laughs> but I don't think I can charm at this point. <laughs> uh, you might be able to charm the robots. You charm to like distract them. C three PO. <laughs> Definitely, you can distract them to get them away from uh, Becky's character. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. To get Yin and Yang to follow you as you run off into the darkness. Yeah, you can definitely do that. I, Try it. What's your signature item? My signature item. Is it's ham? Ham. The oh, dog. it's ham. Can ham help me by kind of barking, barking and being them? loud? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. so that's plus two. So that cancels out my negative two. So seven. Come on. Two successes, and I guess I should push. Yeah, yeah, we need like. five yeah. more successes. I'll push. So then I guess I get a. Uh, I get exhausted from all of the shenanigans we've been up to. There's been a lot of shenanigans. So then I just roll the remainder. Yep. Come on. Oh, no successes. Nope. Oh, okay. Alright, Travi, you just have to get five successes. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, Brad. Alright, I'm going to try to figure out a way to um, unplug this machine, so I'm going to use Investigate. Investigate? Sure. And I'm going to use my notepad to try to draw where all the cables are, like, routed. Mm, makes sense. You nerds. <laughs> Put <your> big diagram. <laughs> Fucking nerd. No, it's a, no, it's a good plan. You could do it. You got three successes. Damn. Right. And I'm going to push, and I'm going to say I'm also exhausted because it has been a very long day traveling with these two. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you just need two more successes, Travi. Nice. 
face. He got two no more successes. No way. Yeah, yeah. fuck yep. yeah. Wow. Organically, nice. you guys got nine successes. Damn. Hell yeah. Trust, you come up with good strategy and <laughs> you go. You fucking nerd. I you tell go, everyone we can unplug this motherfucker because yeah. that's what we've been trying to do all day. <laughs> You find, you know, technically this is the best spot to where to unplug it. And if we, we, if we attack it right here, if we try to unplug it right here, it will uh, deactivate everything. And then Becky's Travis character comes out of nowhere with her guitar, smashes that same area. The whole thing gets fried and shuts down. The room goes dark. Yin and Yang, yeah. they start like scattered about they're trying to find you guys and catch you but you guys are just pumped jumping up in there and go yes 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 and you just dash out of there as quick as possible the one thing we're leaving michael behind just that's the thing is i'm gonna have to have you guys roll move if you guys want to escape yin and yang if you guys want to get isaac and michael out of here with you guys oh i don't know you guys can do them oh isaac yeah i kind of want isaac do we have to roll for both or just one? It's just one move action. And if you guys, if one success, you guys save Michael. Two successes saves both of them. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, Michael? Why do we care about Michael? Fuck Michael. <laughs> what happens if we fail? Uh, they The robots catch you. Okay, no, I'm, I'm out. All right. Uh, Travis dips. Travis dips. Brad's also dipping because I just, I don't care about Michael. As okay. Much. Can I prioritize the robot first? You could. Okay. Oh, you could have said that. <laughs> I'm still dipping. But if you fail, the robots catch you. I'm going to do it for okay. Isaac. I have a lot of injuries. I got to go talk to Axel. <laughs> Who's Axel? <laughs> he's my anchor. It, well, what's his bet? Oh, he's, oh, he's the, the music, music store shop guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Can my dog help in any way? Nope, you used him. You can use him once per session. I don't know if I should. I only get two days. No, don't do it. Okay, I leave. <laughs> you could push it, though, afterwards if you don't get a success. Oh, that's true. Okay, You guys fine. could leave Isaac behind. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I have to push. Oh, uh, no. Uh, what um, condition do you give yourself? It has to be injured. <laughs> All right. Um, Yang, the square little robot, slams into you. He rolled you, like, over your toes. Yeah, he rolled over your toes. <laughs> And now you get Come another reroll. This is so sketchy. Oh, oh, I failed. All right, Yang, or no, Yin. Yin, the large uh, humanoid Yin. robot, grabs you Yin. and uh, pulls you off. In uh, He pulls you into the shadows. Do I get to fight? No, he pulls you in and you disappear. I'm dead? Not dead. Just gone. Just gone. So at this point, Travis and uh, Brad, do you guys want to leave uh, Stacy behind? What do you guys want to do? This is the point you guys could end the mission and leave, or and we can leave it sort of on a cliffhanger. But you're not sure if you'll ever see Stacy again. Maybe you will at some point, or maybe not. Or you guys could try to go back, but then that risks your own life too. I have it could not be a mystery. You guys are all. I have not hurt. used my pride yet. I can't remember what my pride is. I definitely haven't used it. It's not that you can't remember it, trust. It's that you can't read your handwriting of what your pride is. No, he's not wrong. I know exactly what my pride is. What is it? Because I read it. <laughs> my mom says I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I have a beautiful heart. I'm gonna go save him. Damn, that's awesome. Damn. Damn. That's pretty good. She didn't say yeah. how I'm beautiful. <laughs> so That's good. true. She said, you're beautiful on the inside. You're a beautiful boy. She said beautiful. I assumed it's on the inside because it's definitely not on the outside. <laughs> I'm fugly. <laughs> oh, Brad's not fugly. This Brad. Stacy is like, it's kind of like a horror movie that she's on the ground and she's getting pulled away into darkness and only her hands and like head is like out in the light and she's getting dragged back. And if you want to activate your pride that you're beautiful on the inside or outside or whatever, your mom <laughs> calls you beautiful. Even though this whole time you've been kind of having a shitty attitude and, you know, you go one more time to try to save your friend because at your heart you care about your friends more than most people probably. As you fall, you jump and you grab her and you pull her out 
end. You put all of your adrenaline into it, and Yin <laughs> drops her, and you're able to pick up um, Austina, and both of you guys run out, and you guys get the hell out of there. Bolt. You guys bolt, bolt. out. Stacy. at one point, you thought you were going to be kidnapped by this robot, but this guy came out of nowhere oh, to yeah. save you, Brad. Um, you guys escape. You guys go back in the field. The adults, that uh, silver cylinder, no longer is making noise. And all of them, the adults, are kind of like look around like, where are we? Huh. And uh, they're just kind of like walking back into town. So they're no longer dry humping. No, they're not doing anything weird like that. They're not acting as like weirded out as they should be. They should be like, where the hell am I? What am I doing? But they're just like, huh, okay. And they're heading back and you eventually catch up and you run to your arms of your mom and she doesn't act weird at all or anything. She goes, oh, honey. She goes, oh, it's getting dark. What are you doing? How is school today? <sighs> Ma! It's time to get back and let's make you some dinner. Can you make Where's dinner your father? Can you make dinner for my friends? Yeah, your friends can go over. I would love to. You never bring your friends around. I never got to meet them. Okay. You say so much about them. You guys want to come hang, have dinner with me and Ma? It can't be worse than my place. Let's go. Let's do it. More food for me. <laughs> <laughs> As Travis snores and fucking alcohol goes over <laughs> his pants. Just keep making one podcast and recorded where you don't spray beer all over yourself or my furniture. I mean, mm, maybe all over your mic, no. so I'm good. Wow. So... As the mystery ends, the adults, weirdly enough, they never acknowledge what happened. And when you bring it up, they just give an explanation like, Oh, I was going out in the meadow because I wanted to see the sunset. Or I wanted to see the sunrise. Or I want to go for a jog or meet the other adults. For dry humping. I mean, if I got dry humped by Hobo Jim, I wouldn't want to, like, acknowledge acknowledge it. it either. And I feel that, Ma. I feel that. As this very... Very long day comes to an end. At least think you're gonna have a new baby brother. Travis passes out in a chair at dinner as her mom or uh, his mom <laughs> <laughs> her mom Travis her mom <laughs> as his mom makes dinner for him and all of his friends. Stacy gets a for the first time in a long time, get to have an actual made, like homemade meal, and uh, Ham the dog gets to sit at the front of the table Aww. and begs for food. That's cute. And also, this is my homemade first homemade meal in a long time either. So, and Brad, as his parents don't, well, they love him, but just in a different way. Uh, he gets an actually nice made meal, a uh, very white person meal. <laughs> Very cookie cutter meal. Yeah, cookie cutter. And you guys all get to enjoy some time together, but Travis is dead asleep. Uh, their parents get to learn much about your friends, a little judging of your friend choice, but they like him for being quirky. So about this dry humping thing. Let's and not talk about the dry humping thing. Let's not talk thing. about that. No, no, I'm talking about this with her mom, or his mom. <laughs> <laughs> she just looks at you weird like, what? And the camera pans away. Travis passed out. Breaths reeks of alcohol and <laughs> cigarettes. And the rest of you, Stacy is uh, feeding her dog some scraps on her table. And Brad is talking to Travis's mom about what was the co- what was dry, it? Hump. dry humping with Hobo Jim. No, <laughs> dry humping in general. Thanks for listening <laughs> to the second part of our campaign of Tales from the Loop. Um, most of our episodes are shorter than this, but this is a special game that I think it's uh, very fun, and I love Free League. They make some really good games. Uh, in the future, we might play some more games from them. I think the next one we would play in 2022 will be Morkborg. Um, besides that, uh, thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you in the new year of 2022. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the next games will be, but... Um, some ones that are on the horizon are Neon Lords of the Toxic Wasteland, which is a very uh, Borderlands, Mad Max inspired game. There is uh, They Came to Play Ball, which is like a space jam mixed with a soap opera sports game set in space. 
It's a cool game. And uh, I've got some other games. Mork Borg is a big one. And, uh, you know, got some other ones I'm planning on doing, including uh, some very classic beer and pretzel role playing games like Cobalt's Ate My Baby and also Mouse Guard. Mouse Guard was the original role playing game that Brad, not the character, now we're talking about real life <laughs> Brad, wanted to join this podcast to play. And after two years or almost three years, we're finally going to get to play it at some point s- in 2022. How have we still not played Cobalt Day, my baby? Uh, we've good question. We've well, literally played Goblin Quest. Yeah. Which is a similar concept, but different. Have we not? Well, Cobalt Day, my baby, it was just only recently that I picked up the hardcover copy of it. So now we actually have a full excuse to do it. So definitely, probably, I'm hoping for January, Cobalt Day, my baby is going to be a good one. That's the Beer and Pretzel podcast. Beer and Pretzel is derived from the first Beer and Pretzel role-playing game, which is Cobalt's Ate My Baby. So that game, all of us will be there for. We'll all be toasted, and we're having we're going to have a good time. I'm excited for people to hear that. Uh, thanks for listening to this episode, and uh, we'll catch you next time on the Beer and Pretzel podcast.